So today I wanted to record this video and share with you how to edit a video once you have it on Facebook, whether it is a Facebook Live or a recorded video that you upload into your Facebook page. So what I've done here is I'm on my Facebook page and I've already I've just clicked on my videos because I'm going to take you through the process of you you know adding editing the video by adding in a subtitle, a description, you can actually change the thumbnail or actually add in a picture for the thumbnail. You can also um, add in um, captions so people can read it because we all know that a lot of people are reading our videos instead of listening to them depending on where it is that they're watching from. So I'm going to take you through the process of editing this video right here that I did last Friday for my coffee time with Christine. It was a live video. So all you need to do is you click on it. I'm just going to hit pause. And up in the corner here, you'll see these three dots next to the, the notification bell. You click on those three dots and you hit edit video. And then it's going to bring you to a whole new thing that you may have not seen before. I don't know how else to describe it other than a thing. No, it's a different page. So I already have a description in here because I had come back in and added a description, but then I realized I wanted to create this video, so I didn't go any further. So when you edit a video, it allows you to add a subtitle. So up here is where you want to put what the video is about. And because this was a coffee time with Christine, that's what I'm going to type here is coffee time with Christine. And I've started to put the date of what that was. So this was November. Oh, what was this? What was this date? What was last Friday? <laughs> Last Friday was the 15th, okay. 15th, and then 2019, okay? And then down here you can add in your description, you can change all the different things that you want to in your description, you can add hashtags, you can actually tag people and put them in here. But if they are a part of your community and they are on your Facebook page, then you can actually tag people in this as well, so it asks you who you're with and then you can also check in. Um, this is a great way to um, build your, your global presence. Is wherever you are or wherever you were when you recorded that video, you should put in a location. Um, it just brings more people to your video. So this was in Atlanta, so I'm going to put that in here. Atlanta, Georgia. So that's where I was when I recorded this. So I put that in there. If you want, you can um, set date and time of your post. So this could also be used when you are uploading a video. And then you can tag your product. So they have a lot of different options in here that you can use. I suggest coming in and start playing with it. You can add tags to your videos and they give you a whole bunch of categories that you can actually use for tags. So uh, let's see here. You can make up your own tags too. These are just options that you can choose that are mostly used. So they've put them into categories. Um, it's hard to say what coffee time and Christine will be. Let's see what social issues are. Green <laughs> uh, DIY, solar power. Yeah. Nope, that is not something I would use. So you get the idea there. You can actually put tags in there if you want. Mostly use tags. So these are ones that I have used. So I'll put entrepreneurship on there. How's that sound? Um, and public speaking. And then it gives you suggested professional skills. There we go. Um, digital marketing. Okay, so those are suggested tags, and I think they only allow you a certain amount, but they will uh, stop you from adding more once you've hit that limit. Okay, so that's where 
the video details is. That's where you could do all there. So now you can actually change the thumbnail of your video because <laughs> for the most part they never pick the best thumbnail for a video. So if you want to use a clip from your video, you can just uh, auto generate image. So they're gonna they you know these are glimpses of your video that they've picked that could be a thumbnail. So you can look through them all and see which would be best for you to use as a thumbnail. And if you're not sure what a thumbnail is, the thumbnail is the image that they put on the video that you first see uh, when scrolling on your newsfeed. So they give you lots of different options to choose from. And if you can't find one that you like, you just, well, and if you do, you just pick it and then it changes it. Or you can scroll down and you can do a custom image. So if you create your own image that you would like to use for the, the beginning of your, like for your thumbnail, you can do that and you would just hit add image and I'll just show you. I'll pick one for you. Let's do um, I'll pick this one. So if I want I could use that and then that will be my custom image for my thumbnail if that's what I wanted to do or you can actually choose from the frame. So you see in, at the beginning there, you can auto generate. So they themselves have picked different images that you could use for your thumbnail, or like you've just seen, you can upload your own image, or you can come here and go through frames um, and, and choose what you want. So you just kind of scroll through and you see, you know, what would be an image that you would want. <laughs> you just there we go that's a funny one. save as thumbnail so now you see we we did a, a video frame so whichever one you want to so whether you want to auto generate or if you want to customize let's do that just so you guys can see what that does okay so now well we've already chosen so we're gonna do that okay um, what's this one here? Choose where your video will appear and who will watch it. So if you wanted to, you know, make your video only available for certain pages, you can choose that. Um, control what features will be made available to your videos. So as you start creating your, your page and doing more and more and more, you can add it to a playlist. Um, so this is a Coffee Time with Christine video, so I've made different playlists. So I'm going to add it to my Coffee Time with Christine, which people can find on your page. They'll see different playlists that you have created. You can actually, at this point, do uh, captions and subtitles. And they will ask you to choose your language. Of course, I'm English, so we're going to do English. But it allows you to do whichever you like. Now, if you want to write the captioning for your video, you can upload that here, or you can have them automatically auto-generate your, uh, your closed captioning. So, and once this is done, actually, it you can go back in and edit those as well, which is right here. So if you hit edit, you can actually go through and see clip by clip where the, the wording is and you can go in and edit it because sometimes um, of course it's going to be misspelled certain words depending on you know Canadian and American words sometimes have a, a different spelling it all has to do with a vowel um, or perhaps it miss you know doesn't hear it correctly and puts the wrong word in so this gives you the availability to edit the the wording as well of course it's <laughs> my internet is not the greatest but this is a prime example that you don't have to have great internet to do stuff you just need to have patience <laughs> and that's what we're doing right now so let's see what happens here
I've been wanting to do this video for some time and I actually have had a few people ask me about this um, that have been interested in my video boot camp and wanted to know if this was a part of my video boot camp. And I said, oh, well, of course, it's not exactly in the curriculum of my video boot camp, but what it is a part of is my community. So when you're a part of my community, you get great content just like this that teaches you different things about creating video, editing, all the aspects of what video can do for you and your business. So, um, so here, this wants to, uh, I think this wants to record, oh no, sorry, it it looked like it wanted to record my voice, but then I was like, no, that's not what it's doing here. Okay, so as you can see now, it has broke down all the different um, captions that are going to show up. So when um, you're reading through it, you can actually change the words and edit them for you. Okay, so um, we're not going to do that right now because that's going to take some time. But I am going to keep the captions on and I can come back and fix that. A new feature is the video clipping. You can actually clip your video. So, well, because this was a live video, right? So, for the most part, most people think a live video is cut and dry. You know, I recorded it, there's no way I can edit it. Well, now they have allowed you to come back in afterwards because sometimes, think about this, when you watch a live video, some people waste the first couple minutes waiting for people to join, right? But then when they go to watch the recording, people are kind of bored because they're not there live, they're watching the recording, and you're, some people are just kind of like wasting the first two minutes waiting for people to join. So what you can do here is you can actually um, do that video trimming. You can edit your video and clip it so you can get rid of those first few minutes and let it start when the great when the content actually starts. <laughs> so that's a great way. But my tip here for you is if you're doing Facebook Lives, please don't wait those couple minutes for your audience to join because then you don't have to worry about this editing feature. Just really start talking. Um, the best way to get people to be engaged right away on a live is to educate your audience to know when you're going to go live. So always promote when you're going to go live and also educate your audience to get notifications when you go live. That way you're not having to sit there for minutes on end <laughs> waiting for people to join your live and then having to come back in here and edit your video because you have those first two minutes of really nonsense material that your recorded viewers aren't going to want to watch and probably will not continue watching your live. So this is actually a great feature uh, for those that are going to continue doing lives like that. But my tip to you is use live video like you are in regular conversation. Start off with your content, introducing yourself. I mean, don't get into your meat and potato content until maybe two minutes, but make the first two minutes still valuable and not nonsense. All right, so, um, and then polls, you can actually ask questions on your video, which I, I have not used myself, so I'm not sure how that is. Um, you can put some custom labels and you start tracking your videos. You can do that. And uh, there there's another video trimming. So um, these are all really great things for editing your video right here in Facebook. Um, they've really come a long way in using video and allowing you to really personalize the information that you are sharing with your audience. And some, you know, when we go live sometimes, we don't take the time to fill in the description properly. We just basically put in a really catchy you know, descriptions just so people will join. But this is a great way to come in afterwards and put a a longer description, um, maybe little portions of what you talked about in that description. Don't ever give away all of the meat and potatoes in your in your content in your description, but you definitely want to give them enough that they're going to want want to know they're going to want to know more because you didn't give it to them all in the description. Okay, so we're going to save this video, and that is all you have to do. Isn't that great? I absolutely love that you can do this now um, in the back end of your your Facebook page and it's super simple so we're just gonna see if this saves properly because I added in closed captioning it might take a second or two there we go perfect all right so I hope 
this um, training was of value to you. If you have any more questions, please email me at christine at christinealthouse.com. You can also find me on Facebook at Christine Althaus, and I would be more than happy to answer any questions that you have with video. I am a video strategist, and I do have a couple programs that are available to anybody that is interested in learning more about video and how they can apply it to their online marketing. Again, my name is Christine Althaus, and thank you so much for watching, and we will talk to you again on the next video. Bye for now. 